My wife is a prolific American writer, admired by many for speaking truth to power, the author of over 40 highly praised novels and books of poetry. And I am, well, the kind of writer who labors for 19 months on a short story finally accepted by the literary magazine of Southeast Yazoo Community College. For many years, we were something of a curiosity. There was not only a disparity in our reputation, I had none, but in our ages. Today, they'd call her a cougar. Marge received all kinds of flack from friends. He'll leave her when she gets old was the common wisdom. Toy boy was a phrase directed at me more than once. And my favorite, overheard from a semiotician at a communication theory conference, big hair, big sex. What was clear was that we unsettled people, often enough for them to ask me to my face, you're married to her, why you? You're married to her, the writer? You're married to her? Why would she want to do that? The answer has been yes for over 30 years now. But for the first 15 of them, I admit, it was a question I sometimes asked myself. I had contrived to meet Marge in Cambridge, Massachusetts, when my upstairs neighbor announced that a notorious writer friend was coming to visit. Woman on the Edge of Time, now a science fiction classic, had just been released, and before that, Small Changes and Dance the Eagle to Sleep, both Bibles of the New Left. In a photograph I had seen in Time magazine, Marge Piercy looked like a French movie star. It was the afternoon before the first Passover Seder, and because I couldn't imagine what I might say upon being introduced, I interrupted their conversation with a kind of impromptu performance piece, appearing with a bowl of egg whites while attempting to whip them with a wire whisk. Nine out of ten successful women would have written me off as some incompetent schmuck trying to make macaroons. Marge saw a profile from J-Date, 26-year-old Jewish man, curly hair, likes to cook. Marge's life was an X-rated urban folktale circulating around the remnants of the anti-war community of the time. Marge Piercy lives with three men, my friend Katie told me, and every night she chooses which one to sleep with. While not exactly true, I distinctly remember Katie's mouth watering when she said this. Marge lived on Cape Cod and would visit me in Cambridge two days a week. On occasion, we'd drive down to New York City and lunch with her agent and publisher. So, I not only had a mentor who believed in my writing, but an older and experienced lover. Life was good. Unfortunately, too good. A situation that always upset my inner balance, made me feel undeserving, and caused me to seek a return to a more uncomfortable level. To set things right again, or in my case, wrong. This book roughly covers that time. It tells the stories of a very fortunate young man who did just about everything to screw it all up. If it wasn't my own life, I'd have to laugh. And most people do. It's a book that poses the question you might ask a lot of very ordinary guys lucky to be with fabulous women. You're married to her?